The next steps in the life of our little rally car project are some safety related items. We need to do seats and harnesses and a roll cage. So on the topic of the roll cage, I want to make my own roll cage. Of course, I want to do it DIY style, but I've never made a roll cage and I'd really like to get it right on the first try. So I figured this would be a great excuse to ask my mom if I could have a friend over. She totally can't say no. Uh, Mom, can Mike come over? She said yes. I'm Zach, that's Mike, this is Money Pit. Let's do some safety stuff. Huge thank you to eBay Motors for sponsoring Money Pit. If you're in search of a new set of wheels like I was and you're having a hard time finding what you're looking for, well, you should be using eBay Motors. Thanks to their proprietary web feature called Fitment, eBay Motors guarantees any part fits the car you're searching for. Whether you want to buy, sell, or just browse, eBay Motors makes it easy to interact with car folk in a secure, trusted online environment. So don't dilly-dally on unreliable sites. Find exactly what you need by going to the link in the description below. Now, let's get back to Money Pit, baby. Boosh. Now, I know what you guys are all thinking. You thought you clicked on a video about seats and I just keep talking about roll cages. What gives? Let me clear it up. So I am ready to put a roll cage in this thing, but before you go putting a roll cage in a car, there's some stuff that you wanna have sorted out, like where you're gonna sit, your seating position, your seat, your steering wheel, all that stuff should be sorted out before you put a roll cage in because once you weld a roll cage in place, it's not gonna move too easily. So before we go any further, let me introduce you to my friend, Mike. I used to work with him at ECS Tuning in Ohio. He's a wizard at welding and he's terrific with tubing. He's built a bunch of roll cages. He's great at fabrication and he's just the guy to come help me out with this project. Not necessarily installing seats, but I kind of duped him. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna strip the interior. We're gonna get these old seats out and replace them with a cool set of seats and harnesses. And we're also gonna install a sick new steering wheel so that I can really dial in my whole driving position before doing a cage. So let's take a look at some of the crap he's gonna help me out with. Let's take a gander at the goods, baby. First off, for seats, I got a set of Sparco's Evo seats, and they weren't exactly cheap. I paid about 1,750 bucks for the pair. And then for the task of holding these seats to the car, I got Sparco's aluminum brackets. These are nice and beefy. And then I got a pair of these. These are the mounts that will mount to the actual chassis. So these are built for an E36. They should use the stock mounting points. And then the brackets, those Sparco brackets, they'll mount to this. Then down here, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see these, but I got some harnesses. These are made by Sparco as well, and that's right, they're a desert digital camo. Perfect for ripping around in the desert. These are a five-point harness, which means that we're gonna have to modify the car a little bit to install them. Then we've got our steering wheel set up. We've got our quick disconnect here. It's really sick, I can't wait to put it on. I've always regretted that the Miata doesn't have a quick disconnect, so boom, baby. And then to connect the quick disconnect to the car, we of course have a hub. Then. One of my favorite things, we got a steering wheel. Also from Sparco, I, I really like all these products a lot. Even though they're not the cheapest, they are really nice. So I can't wait to get this stuff in. It's gonna change the, the personality of the car in a big way, especially because we're gonna be getting rid of most of the beige things that are in there. So let's strip some interior and get these seats and my driving position in general figured out. Don't break anything. It's all gone up for sale on eBay. Taking stuff out is, uh, you know, finding what's holding it in and removing it. Sometimes breaking it, but ideally not ever breaking it. I mean, when you are taking stuff like this apart, it is a good idea to be organized with your hardware, especially if you ever care about putting stuff back in or so. Ziploc bags for me, baby. Always good to disconnect your battery before you start playing with these bombs. Speaking of which, big step. Get the steering wheel off and then we're well, we still gotta get the carpet out. Wait, what are we gonna do with that? Well, so I do remember where you live. <laughs> and I remember which room's yours. So I was thinking maybe I would modify your pillow a little bit. A little neck crack rack? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be a chiropractor, Eddie. You're my first, oh, f Well, we're at a crossroads, a bit of an impasse. We gotta take out all this stuff to get the carpet out in one piece or turn the carpet into more than one piece. You know what I'm gonna do. Okay. All right, now let's pull this carpet out. Oh yeah, yeah we're gonna lose some weight with this. Yeah. 
This car just got a lot louder, but that's okay. It's a race car. All the noises. Wow, look at my nice red interior. It is a BMW. So we've got the majority of the interior out of the car. And I guess you might be wondering why we would even do all this. Why we would remove all these perfectly good and comfortable seats uh, to replace them with less comfortable stuff. And the fact is, I mean, the thing's supposed to be a performance driving car. And when you're performance driving, comfort really isn't what you're after. You're after being held in place. And in my opinion, doing a nice set of seats and, you know, pit mods really improve the driving experience when you're trying to drive hard. A nice set of seats will hold you in place, keep you from sliding around. They let you use five point harnesses like we're gonna do for extra safety. And these seats didn't even really work. They didn't, they didn't recline either. They, start, they used to at one point in their life probably recline, but they didn't do that anymore anyway. So it's just a lateral move with a little less comfort and a little more safety. Uh, now, let's put some seats in. All right, so I'm just throwing the side brackets on the seat right now, and I don't really know uh, where I want them to end up ultimately, so I'm just putting them on, then we'll put them in the car and see if we like it, and adjust it if we don't. It's probably gonna be a lot of adjustment in my future, you know? I don't expect to get this right first try, and I wanna get it exactly right. I wanna get in the car and be like, yeah, that's where I'm supposed to sit. All right, well, our bracket uh, looks to line up with the holes and the posts for the uh, original seat mounting locations. That's great. These sometimes aren't great. Now we just gotta hope that the mounting holes for the seat brackets also line up, but I have a feeling they're not gonna. Okay, something in this ballpark. <sighs> okay, this is the area that I want the seat, I think. Uh, now I'm gonna put the steering wheel on so I can tell where that's gonna be, and then we'll readjust the seat. First thing I'm gonna do is pop this hub onto the stock spline. Then we'll connect the quick disconnect, and then the wheel. No way. Bro, you weren't even typing now. I know. I guess that's what you get when you get the Harbor Freight uh, ball and Allen keys. It just broke my head off <laughs> at like one Newton meter of torque. The maiden mounting. Oh yeah. I like that. Can I go lower the seat? Uh, I mean, I think so. I'm playing make believe with the tube over your head right now. Yeah. You're not in the sweet spot. Oh boy. When you're putting a cage and a seat in a car, it's really important to try to consider where the tubing is going to be. You don't want to be bumping your head off that. That's just not safe. So you're going to get the seat low enough and try to keep all the roll cage tubing as far away from you as possible. Well, uh, you heard him, baby. We got to mind my noggin. I guess that's why I brought Mike along. The only problem is that the steering wheel is a touch high. And yeah, as, as my seat goes lower, it's only gonna get higher relative to me. Okay, well, uh, let's pop this thing out of here and see how much lower we can go. You want seat to hits your bracket where your brackets touch. The what? Where, how? Right here, the whole front edge of the seat touches before your brackets can touch each other. So we can't go lower. The back's good. So yeah, I guess we're gonna be tilting. Sometimes you don't get to do exactly what you want because you're a little limited by the parts you're working with. And these are a lot of parts that gotta stack together. It looks like we gotta tilt them. Gangster lean me, baby, gangster lean me. All right, well, this looks like pretty much my final seating position. I've got some headroom, the seat fits, my distance to the pedals is great, and I like the distance to the steering wheel. So, let's uh, ship it. Bolt these puppies up. The holes on our brackets and our seat mounts don't line up, so we're gonna have to do a little hole making. But that's okay. Mike's really good at making holes. We've got all our holes marked out. What we need to drill, we need to drill a hole there, a hole there, and two in these seat rails. Then they'll go together. Perfect little marriage, just like us. Seat mounts and brackets put together, sort of. Our new holes worked. Let's jam it on the seat. Is 
Yeah, baby. That's for, uh, you know, when you are doing like long races and you gotta pee and poop. That's where you eject it. Well, that's a seat attached to a thing. And yep. look, we're almost kind of off the weld there. Yeah. Looks about right. <laughs> that's about it. I am pleased. All right, so we got a lot of interior out of this thing. We got two fancy new seats in it and a sick new steering wheel setup. So we're pretty much ready to take the seats back out and get started on cage stuff. But I figured it was only right that we at least drive around the block and feel these new seats out. I got a sick new set of pedals. They're aluminum, they're made by Hard Motorsport, and I'm gonna put them in. Pretty cool pedal. Uh, it's got a little you know, thingy so your foot can't slip off to the right. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see how difficult it is to install. It looks pretty easy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Looks cool. Feels cool. Woo baby. I think it's time for a test drive. considerably lower. I uh, I like these seats. Yeah. And it's a good size. At least for my buns. Yeah, no, I'd be pretty good too. Yeah, it's a nice hug. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna be able to throw this thing around and not end up over there. And you know, all this stuff actually makes me feel pretty cool. Yeah. These seats are awesome. This wheel, albeit crooked, looks pretty cool. Even crooked. <laughs> uh, this thing is a uh, full-blown race car. Yeah, this thing's coming together and quick. That's the other thing too. I mean, the interior has turned a little bit red in a cool way, but it's also just gone from normal to way cool yeah. in one day. Yeah, significantly more interesting. I know, 100%. I feel way cooler sitting in this thing than I did just this morning. The only thing that you may or may not have noticed to be missing you might have thought you just couldn't see them because they're camo, but uh, we don't have any seat belts at the moment. No. And that's not really what you want. But to mount those seat belts, we need a bit of a roll cage. So I reckon it's time to head back to the shop, probably straighten out this steering wheel, and get started on the roll cage. Let's do it. What do you think? How much work we got ahead of us? A bunch. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's get our uh, illegal selves back to the shop. Nice. Don't drive without seatbelts, kids. No. We're gonna do Safety it. first. In a race seat? 